the new law, for the first time, gave unions real power and negotiating rights. The other very important law passed during this period created the National Social Security System. The law forced every worker and business owner to pay a small amount of money each month to the federal government. In exchange, the government paid money to workers who had retired or lost their jobs. The new law did not serve everyone. Farmers, government workers, and a number of other groups were not included in the system. The plan also did nothing to help people who were already unemployed. A person had to have a job after the new system began, and then lose it to get money. However, the National Social Security Law established a system that would grow and become a central part of American life. Roosevelt also supported other new laws during this period that changed the American economy. A banking act gave the nation's central bank, the Federal Reserve Board, new power to control the total amount of money in use. Another law increased taxes for rich people. A third law limited the power of major companies to gain control of local electric utility companies.